Hey, what's up? What's poppin', people? Okay, so, uh, I'm doing a book review of Mythical Monsters, the scariest creatures from legends, books, and movies. Yeah, we already have a creepy werewolf on here. Anyway, I guess I got this book a while ago, and what I mean by a while ago, I mean a couple of years. And you can you can tell I did it because <laughs> anyway, uh <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna do a book review. Uh mythical monsters. Alright. Now we already have it now we have a table of contents. So these monsters from pages eight to 26 are about ancient legends and folklore the pages 28 through uh let me focus on me focus focus uh pages 28 through 50 are about mythological monsters and actually no pages 28 through 62 and media monsters like from books and movies, pages 64 and 76, and modern monsters are 78 through 96. 96 is actually 94. 96 is the index. So we already, so now we have a cover page. Introduction is Godzilla, Leviathan, Chupacabra, Loch Ness Monster, Bigfoot, Gorgon, King Kong, uh, Tokolashi, Grey Alien, Kraken, and Chimara? Chimera? Right. So, I'm not going to read the introduction, because it's nothing much. Alright, so we get our first, first monster, Black Dog. He's got very shiny eyes, indeed. I'm actually in my garage right now, but because I like the air today, it's nice. Okay, so you have a black dog, and basically, and this is from ancient legends and folklore. So the black dog is basically this is the actual size compared to a human. So basically, the black dog is a dog that runs around, scares people, and then they fall off cliffs. I think that's the introduction. Yeah, this guy, he was on a cliff top path and then this guy scared him and then he fell off to his death this is but this is actually wow these it says that most tales from black dogs come from britain ireland scandinavia germany france nova scotia canada and Nova Scotia is in Canada and eastern states of the USA. So actually, it's a quite, quite the popular uh, mythological monster. Sorry, I put my finger over there. But it's not as popular as this guy, Boogeyman. You all know him, but dude, this guy's creepy. Look at, I mean, those claws, claws are like sharper than Wolverines. He's got foaming at the mouth. This is what he looks like compared to regular human. He's actually not that much taller. I don't know. What do you think? The Boogeyman is found mainly in North America. I'm not going to read the story because everyone knows what, who Boogeyman is. So he, he's in the uh, UK, Scotland, and US. And North America. Like Canada. Like the entire North America. Uh... Thing. If the dogs start barking, just ignore it. Okay, here's the next monster, Chupacabra. Yes, he is really disgusting looking. And he basically, he sucks, he's uh, goat's blood. Yeah, as he's killing, look at his claws are actually penetrating, oh my goodness. Okay, so he is known in uh, he's known in Central 
South America, Central and South America, and he's also known in southern states of USA, including Canada, Arizona, and Texas, and Florida. Most signs are from Puerto Rico, Southeast Florida. Alright, so that's what it looks like compared to, again, so starting off, these monsters are not very, the biggest one so far is Boogeyman, but it'll start getting a lot crazier. Trust me. Alright, so next one, Gog Magog. Now, this is actually one of my favorite uh, monsters in this book, just because he's a freaking beast. But yeah, he, he's choking out two Roman so centurions, and they're trying to kill that guy. This is the way it looks like compared to... Look at that, dude. He's like three times the size of a human. That's crazy. I mean, this is basically the mytho the ancient version of the Hulk. He's so freaking tall and strong, too. According... Okay, so this was legend... Okay, so according to legend, the Trojans landed in Britain at the site of either modern Totnes or modern Southampton. Uh, okay, so he, he's, so these are actually Trojans, which is still pretty impressive. Next one, another heavy hitter, Golem. That's literally his name, Golem. And he actually has a word written on his forehead, um, erasing the world word is the only way to kill the monster. Holy cow. So he's basically invincible. This is what he looks like compared to a human. He's actually really tall. This is, I think this human's like six foot five, something like that. So, yeah, you can just imagine. I mean, look at, oh my gosh. Look at the bulge on those muscles. They're huge. <laughs> Anyway, so he's in Eastern Europe. He's actually not that popular, but but here's the next here here's probably quite possibly might be the most popular monster. Wild. He is in Syria, Turkey, Jordan, Israel, Iraq, and Iran, and he's also been in Hebrew writings, uh, i.e. the Bible. Uh, so yeah, this is what he looks like compared to a human. I mean, he just looks massive, and he can control the winds and water. So I'm not gonna say much about the mermaids because everyone knows who they are. Pretty small, very small. Here's the mummy. Mummy again. Everyone knows who the mummy is. They made a movie about Takawashi. Look how small he is. He is in South Africa, specifically Zulu. Uh, yeah. So he he basically smashes stuff. He's a little devil, basically. Here's a trial. <laughs> what was that troll? Look how big his head is. Anyway. He's in Norway and Scandinavia, and he's also in Sweden, Denmark, and apparently Iceland as well. Oh, that was, Iceland was his origin. That's interesting. Basilisk. Look at him, he's so big. He actually is really big. He looks like a chicken. Uh, so it says that this is re- Okay, so basically all of Europe knows the Basquiat. It's actually really, he was a really popular monster. Uh, okay, Sibirus, Sibirus. This is the demon's monster, the monster from the underworld. Anyway, so he's got serpent for a tail. He's got snakes in his hair and just three heads. He can breathe fire. Freaking amazing. Everyone knows who he, he came from Greek mythology, everyone knows that. Chimera. Okay, so he's got he's got two heads, go head and a lion head. 
and he's got a snake for a tail again. Uh, his size. Oh, and it, he can also breathe fire. Oh my gosh, these monsters are freaking overpowered compared to the human world. Cyclops, everyone knows who they are. Oh, tall. Dang, we need to put this guy up against a Gorgon. A Gog Magog, sorry. Yeah, because they both have the same height, basically. Okay, so this guy is six miles long, and he might even be six miles tall. This is the Fenrir. He is in Denmark, Sweden, Norway, and Iceland. Uh... You can see, now at first, I thought these were just regular hay bales. No, these are actual houses, and those those are real people running away. Alright, we need to get moving. Gorgon. Everyone knows what the Gorgon is. Griffin. Again, everyone knows who the Griffin is. He's amazing. Okay, let me, uh... Alright, Harpy. This came from Greek mythology. Steals food. Now the Hydra. Now this is a very interesting version of the Hydra. It's basically just a ball of snakes wrapped up. The Kraken. Everyone knows what the Kraken is. This is a, I actually really like this version of the Kraken. It's awesome. Here's the Manticore. He can shoot spikes out of his tail. He's got like three layers of teeth. Minotaur. Minotaur. Anyway. Oni. He's basically a monster of three eyes and he's like, he basically like floats around. Uh.